Hello, every pony. My name is Shadow Seven Two O One, and I'm going to be your host for well, basically a three-part series that I am choreographing, entitled "The Brony Guide." Now, what this guide is, basically. Well, basically, it's a guide to the Brony fandom. There will be three episodes. Count three. Each one dictating, you know, little, just little bits of the fandom. Obviously, in this episode, the first one. We will be looking at the five stages of Brony development. In the second episode, we will be looking at tips, tricks, and techniques to coming out to your friends and family and letting them know that you are a Brony. And then in the third and final installment, we will be looking at uh, cl uh, fan classifications basically where you or people that you know in the fandom basically fit. <clears throat> now, I just want to apologize for the little, for the light, well, the lighting. Uh, I'm sorry if I, if I stammer and pause for a little bit. I am actually reading this off of a script, a prepared script, so... Again, sorry about that, uh, but that does explain the light, the poor lighting, uh, since I do have to read this. <clears throat> so, without further delay, let's get to those five stages. Well, not just yet. First, I want to point out that each stage can last anywhere from a brief moment up to days, weeks, or even months. The person may get stuck on a stage, or they may skip one or two. Each stage provides a general overview of a newcomer and their, and their approach into the community. Uh, this is mainly meant for guys, so for all the Pega sisters out there, I, I, I guess that's what you call yourselves. I don't know if that's the official term. But uh, for all the Pega sisters out there, uh, this is meant more for the bronies because we have the hardest time you know, basically adjusting to liking My Little Pony. <clears throat> so, um,. Uh, this first episode is dedicate yeah you know, it is the five stages of becoming it is literally the five stages of becoming a brony so without further delay let's get to them the first stage is denial the soon to be brony has an unwillingness to accept that my little pony of all things is something to actually rave about. Generally, they will show little to a great amount of hostility to the show, saying that it, saying that it is either A, <clears throat> for little girls, B, they would never watch it, even if someone was going to kill them, or C, you would have to be gay to like it. Now, <clears throat> the shows and the toy line that the shows were based off of before Friendship is Magic <clears throat> were both bland, tasteless, and geared more towards you know, little girls. <clears throat> you know, little girls between the ages of 5 to 8. Friendship is Magic, however, is geared more towards 
family entertainment, which is why it's become so popular. That and the Brony fandom, obviously. But, um... It is likely that one or two Bronies will encourage the soon-to-be Brony to watch the show. This leads us to the second stage, anger. The soon-to-be Brony... <coughs> well, the soon-to-be Brony will become an anti-Brony. Due to the constant aggravation from Bronies from the bronies uh, causing arguments trolling etc uh, this may last for a while or they may become stuck on the stage eventually they will either give up or give in as they will realize that they are <laughs> vastly outnumbered. So, this leads us to our third stage. Bargaining. The soon-to-be brony is tired from fighting and has decided to watch the show to give it a chance. Now, one must remember that these stages can be skipped if this they can be skipped if the brony well if the soon to be brony is open minded and approaches the show the correct way however this is rare i i personally am the only brony that i know of that um basically has started watching the show this way but um, it is very rare because guys have been brought up to you know watch guys TV. They've we've grown up with that notion <clears throat> that guys should watch shows about you know basically guy stuff. So this leads us into our fourth stage depression the soon to be brony becomes confused confused because not only is he continuing to watch but that he also likes the show they feel sickened and sometimes will even deny that they are even watching the show and will even flip over to a different site a different channel if they think that someone is approaching. They can't accept the fact that they... Well, they can't accept the fact that they are watching My Little Pony, and it is vastly... Well, it exceeds their initial thought of the show. Uh, they become afraid that if they tell someone this will tease and laugh well they will tease and laugh at them thankfully other bronies will sense the distress of the soon to be brony come to their aid and begin to comfort them knowing that they themselves had gone through the same thing this leads us to our fifth and final stage acceptance the soon-to-be brony is now and forever will be a full-fledged brony they are immune to the hateful comments well they are immune to the hateful comments of others and are willing to admit that they watch my little pony friendship is magic they realize that aside from the fandom nothing has really changed in fact they might even go so far as to say that they are manly er than before they started watching so there you have it the five stages of becoming a brony 
If you have any questions, feel free to place them in the comments. I will try and answer them as best I can. Uh, I want to thank you. F well, um, any hateful comments or anything negative will be deleted as I don't put up with that kind of stuff. So, thank you for tuning in. And uh, for all those newcomers out there, uh, let me be the first to say, welcome to the herd. <laughs>